And tonight we are tracking the presidential race and the battle over who controls Congress. KCAL News political reporter Tom Wade is here now to take us through those key races. Tom, good evening. Good evening to you, Juan. And Pat, you know, the big battleground states, those polls are closed or are closing now. We're getting results. So let's take you to our big board and some of the big races that we're watching so far. You'll notice our map is starting to light up in the colors of the states that have been projected for the individual candidates. So far, no big surprises here. These red states were all expected to go for former President Donald Trump. Some of these blue columns, those were expected to go for Vice President Kamala Harris. All right, so what are the big races we're watching right now? Definitely Georgia, North Carolina, and in the Midwest, we are looking at the blue wall. That is Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania being one of the biggest races tonight that everyone is keeping a close eye on. All right, so where do things stand right now? Right now, we're at Kamala Harris, 27 electoral votes, 99 for Donald Trump. So what is the magic number? It's 270. The candidate that reaches that number will be the next president of the United States. All right, so we'll get more onto our map later, but those are the results we have right now. We're tracking them for you. The next big important thing we're watching, control over Congress. Take a look here. We're going to look at the balance of power in the U.S. House. All of those seats are up for re-election tonight. 218 is the magic number there. We're watching to see some of the critical races are actually right here in Southern California, and we may not know the results of those until maybe days from now. Remember, in California, you can register to vote on the day of the election. So some of those mail-in ballots may be coming in a little later as well. Down to the U.S. Senate, that is a map that really favors the Republicans tonight. The Democrats currently have the majority with 52 seats coming into the election. But they're already they've already been projected to lose at least one of those seats because of a, uh, one senator who was not running for reelection in West Virginia. So we'll see how that all plays out. But Democrats definitely playing defense tonight in the Senate. So, again, those results all playing out there. Some of the Republican and Democratic seats in, in the House also in a key battleground state of New York of all places. So New York and California, which are usually very blue states, but some of those congressional districts could go either way. So we're watching all these results come in and we will keep you posted throughout the night. We know you will, Tom. Thanks. And as Tom just mentioned, depending on the presidential result, Republicans only need to gain one or two seats in the Senate to retake control.